Hey guys, I'm Kenton. Welcome back to my channel. So I don't do many vlogs on this channel, but I'm going to Apex Racing Center for a track day this morning, and I thought I'd take you guys along. I know the first time that I tried to do a track day, I was pretty apprehensive because I didn't know all that it entailed or all that I needed. So I thought I'd just take you through my process. I haven't been to many track days yet either. I think this is my fifth time up to Apex Racing Center, uh, but maybe you guys are interested in coming along. So I'm going to get the monkey uh, loaded up on the Forerunner. I've actually got the carrier right here. So I'm gonna bring the car around, get the carry on, get the bike on. I'll show you how I strap it on. I'm actually missing the headlight on the uh, monkey at the moment. I decided to make this a full track bike, so I'm gonna take off all of the lights. I'm actually printing a uh, blank right now for the headlight so that um, you know it's not an empty hole like it is at the moment, but it'll be fine for today. So let me get the, the bike loaded and get all the gear together and we'll get to the track. got the bike all loaded and strapped down these pro taper straps are great they make it really easy to get on and off and I just uh, have these these are actually handlebar straps but I put them over the forks right above the bridge here um, and it holds real well then I don't have to worry about it damaging uh, the handlebars or the handlebars snapping not that I think that would happen I just feel better having them mounted here and then I've got this tire mount for some added security so four pro taper straps and then this one uh, wheel harness to hold it all together I've got my helmet, my boots, my suit, some gloves, and a bag of cold drinks, and I think I'm ready to go. All right, I picked up some Mickey D's, and I'm now on the 15 with just over an hour to go, about 80 miles before we get to Lake Paris and the Apex Racing Center. The monkey is chilling back there on the Harbor Freight Carrier, and uh, catch up with you in a bit. I love this bridge. Here we are at Apex Racing Center. It's actually a BMX park here to the right as well. But we're going to the left. That's Adam's bike. I think uh, Adam's out on the track already. It's a supermoto guy. Here's the monkey and Doug's 22. This is Bill. This is Doug. Adam. Four or five sessions so far. I'm getting pretty tired. Probably only going to do a couple more. Uh, but a couple things on the monkey. So I had moved my rear sets up a little bit higher because I was yeah, scraping I, them down here and I'm actually what, not hitting this any longer. The problem was is when I did that it angled my shift lever down and uh, on the first couple of runs I was scraping it pretty hard and I didn't realize I was scraping this until uh, around one turn it actually took me out of gear and I was like oh shit. So uh, you can see here it's actually pretty scraped up and it's actually kind of loose. I can't really tighten it. It's also bent. So I'll reach out to Taiga. I'm sure I can get another piece here uh, pretty easily. But anyway, I just adjusted the lengthening rod here to bring it up. It's actually a more comfortable position for riding and uh, I'm not scraping that. I'm actually not scraping anything at the moment. Uh, I am catching a little bit of my boot as it hangs off of the uh, rear set, but that's not something that scares me as much as hitting something metal. Because when I hit this the first couple of times, because when I hit this the first couple of times, it actually unsettled the bike and the rear got a little squirrely. Anyway, the other thing is I had somebody take a look at the suspension. Bobby from Bobby from MotoRev is here, and he took a look at the monkey suspension. He said 
that the rear suspension was good. He made a little bit of adjustment on the rebound, uh, but really liked this. He did say though that the Racing Bro suspension, I only have the springs in this bike. He said it was a pogo mess um, and that for the track, I definitely need to change it. So actually, since I'm not riding the Grom aggressively, I'm gonna pull the, oh. He also said that the Racing Bros cartridge suspension is the best bike for the Groms and the Monkeys. He said he doesn't like the Olins, um, but that Racing Bros setup is fantastic. So since I'm going to, so since I'm not riding the Grom aggressively, I'm gonna pull the cartridge suspension out of there and swap just the springs into that bike. I do hope that I have enough clearance here though with the U-bomb. I only have maybe five millimeters of space. I need to check how high that cartridge comes out at the top. Anyway, I'm usually sitting in the tent because it's hot as hell, so I'm gonna get back into the shade, do a couple more sessions, and then I'll probably head home. Okay, so I'm exhausted after that last session, plus it's really hot here, but I had a great time. I felt like I had much better body position on my riding today, although I'll have to check the video to see if that was the case. It always feels much more exaggerated than it looks when I check out the video, but I had a great time. I feel like each trip I'm picking up something more, so I just gotta keep doing this and get better and better. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching this vlog. Let me know if you like the style of format, and I'll do it more frequently. If so, I'm going to head back to San Diego. For all the folks in the U.S., have a great 4th of July, and for everybody else, enjoy the weekend. Take care.